Good day and welcome to our short course explaining how to ensure the graphics that you're using in PowerPoint are all the same size. So let's get to it. Uh, the, uh, there are a number of ways to do this. Uh, one way that's uh, quite advanced and interesting is to use SmartArt. And let me explain that because it's a little uh, less challenging than you'd think. In this particular presentation I have a whole pile of uh, different uh, graphics, their different sizes. So I want them to be exactly the same. I'm going to click on them and hold the control key down on each of these. Then I'm going to go to Picture Layout, and uh, this will convert them to Smart Art. So you can see as I just play, as I'm playing around here that I've got a number of choices, and this is kind of cool all by itself. Uh, but what I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose this one uh, for the moment, and uh, now I've got Smart Art. And Smart Art's fine, but it's not really what I want. I want to get rid of all of this text garbage and other things. I want to be able to move these around easier. So what you do is uh, click on any of them and press sh uh, Control, Shift, and G. That'll break up the graphic. Control, Shift, G again, and now they are completely separate entities. So you can move these all around and they're just boxes. Another way to force graphics to all be the same size is to modify the Slide Master. It's quite easy to do. It uh, sounds challenging, but it's really not. Simply go to View and Slide Master and what you want to do is grab a slide that you're working with. Let's, um, let's say the slide here and select insert placeholder. I want it to be a picture and I want the picture to be right there. And um, actually to make this weird so you can see it, I'm going, to I'm, going to, I'm going to put it here. So there it is. So it's just off in the corner, okay? So now I'm going to click close slide master and when I select insert slide or new slide, I can uh, force it to be the slide that I just selected, which is this one here this blank one, and now when I bring images in, they will be that size, exactly. Let me drag one in. There it is. Now let me go and do another one here, new slide, and I'll force it to be that layout again, and let's choose a map, and I'll do new slide, and again I'll change it again to uh, the slide master, and there you go. So you get the idea. Okay, so that's another way to go. A third way to go is to use a simple add-in from uh, PPT Tools. This is free. Uh, I've used it for more than a decade in several corporate settings. Uh, it uh, doesn't cause any problems and the developer is quite approachable even though he technically doesn't support it. He's been pretty good. So uh, not that there's much to do. So uh, what you want to do is surf out to PPT Tools and uh, in the downloads you'll see uh, the add-ins Here's the free add-ins, and the one we're looking for is Thor. So you, you download it and install it, it's pretty straightforward. And this is what you'll get. You'll get uh, this PPT Tools uh, tab and uh, these items up here. In case you're wondering, Thor, it's the hammer of Thor. So let me just show you. So I've got a graphic here, and I'm going to resize it to be quite small. And I've got another graphic here, and I'm going to move it way up in the corner, make it just teeny tiny. There we go. Okay, so now I've decided that I need uh, all of my graphics to be um, uh, to be in this top right hand corner for some reason. I don't know why, but that's what I've decided. So I click on this, click on your graphic, click Memorize, then go to your other graphic, click the hammer, sorry, click on the graphic and click the hammer. And there it is. And you can see it adjusts them all, makes them the same size and relocates them. Great little tool. A fourth way to handle this is to simply bring the graphics in and make sure that they're the same size. Uh, and uh, there are a number of ways to go about that. Uh, the most interesting that is totally underused is insert screenshot. And let me show you what I mean by that. So, so let's say I've got a command window here, which I do, and I want to take that screenshot. I need to be able to snap between the uh, various uh, screenshots that I've taken. So I want them to be exactly the same shape and size, exactly the same place on the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put this, um, move this graphic off to another uh, screen just so you can't see it for the moment. I'm going to click Insert Screenshot. I'm going to take that one and there it is. I'm going to go down this screen and uh, let's move this back and I'll go uh, CD dot dot and uh, we'll just take a directory of that. There we go. And now I'm just going to move that out of the way again, and I will do insert, screenshot, and bingo again. And let's go to do it a third time, and I will go to uh, CD system. There we go, and I'll take a directory of that. There we go. So not a whole lot. I'm going to move this out of the way. 
but I'll click insert, screenshot, bingo. There we go. Now, when I go to my PowerPoint, as I toggle between these shots, the frames are exactly the same. Another way to get this done is to have your graphics uh, set up uh, you know, using some other tools. You just simply want to import them all as a batch. So uh, that's an easy thing to do, and this will make them all the same size. So let's click Insert uh, Photo Album, and I'll click a New Photo Album, and I'm going to select uh, this, these sample graphics here, Insert. Uh, I'm going to say that I would like uh, four pictures on a slide, and um, I can apply themes and so on and so forth, but I'll leave that for the moment because it's not relevant for this. Boom, there we go. And you can see it's put them all in a lovely structure for me. All of these graphics are the same height, and I can still go in and, and uh, you know, assign a um, template to them and, you know, change it over to whatever I would like. Um, so I'll do that. And, of course, I can still move these, right? They're not locked in in any way. I can remove them. And the last way I have to show you to uh, how to import graphics and make them all the same size and shape is to use, uh, again, an, an, an external uh, piece of software, in this case called Image Batch. Image Batch is a free piece of software you can source from, I think it's, a, yeah, imagebatch.org. I don't know much about them, but we've used them for a while. It's free, it's fine, it works great. Uh, it's good for commercial use, uh, so you don't have to worry about it if you're a company. Let me just show you how that works. It's very straightforward, so I'm going to click, uh, it, select an input directory. There we go, and an output directory, uh, which I've got done. And uh, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to resize all of these to be the same. Actually, I'm going to make these all 100 by uh, 100. Sure, we'll just make it simple. Okay, so I'll bring this in. This is the output. And you can see that all of these graphics are now quite small. Let's just double click on one so you can see it. There we go. On another one here, and you can see it's done a great job of uh, resizing these for me. Now, um, what I actually like using this tool for is crop. Okay, so I've got a number of uh, pictures here that are uh, the same size, uh, but uh, they've got uh, headers on them from this, um, you know, they've got a title bar or a scroll bar or something. It's kind of ugly. I don't want it. All I want is the core, the insides here. So all of these graphics are the same size. Uh, but I want to strip out all of that crap around the top. So let's just go and do that. So I'm going to double click on one of these and see what size it is. And I'm going to just take a look. Uh, this graphic is about 800 by about 550. So let's take a guess at how much I've got to crop off the top there. Probably about 100. Let's go try this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into this crop tool. I'm going to select my input folder and I'm going to say off the top, I want to get rid of about 100. The left, I want to get rid of, uh, let's go with uh, 20 pixels. The bottom, I want to get rid of 20 pixels. And the right, that's where the scroll bars are, so I want to get rid of 30 pixels. And I'm just guessing that that's the right size, by the way, but let's find out. So I'm going to go to my output folder. Okay, so let's just take a look here and double click on one of these. And yeah, that's that was about right. That got rid of that frame for me. So it was like that before, and now it's like that. Now I could have, I could redo this with a little bit less on the, on the left, but you know, uh, there it is. So that is our explanation of how to work with uh, multiple graphics that you need to have the same size or similar sizes. And if you have any questions, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.